Welcome back. It's Scout again. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Um, I am the knitting nursing student on Instagram. I am currently in an 18 month BSN program and I'm having in-person classes. So today I thought I'd do a nursing school haul video um, since I've been in school for, I'm coming, this is my seventh week of school. Um, so I thought I would do a haul video since I've used everything in my bag um, and everything that I bought so I figured I could share now and I've like added stuff over the past couple of weeks too um, just things that work really well um so first things first I <laughs> my room is like a little messy but it's fine so this is like my little corner um, we have a tiny apartment so this is like my school corner and we don't have a desk or anything we're hoping to get one soon um, but right now I just kind of go to coffee shops or I study at our dining room table um, or at our apartment complexes little clubhouse because they've got a super nice setup and it's quiet and they play good music uh, so it feels like a coffee shop without me spending money um, so yeah this is like one of my friends just gave me her old one but they sell them at Target and I can try and link everything in the description below in case you want to buy any of this stuff but I feel like a lot of it's self-explanatory but these are fun videos to shoot and I've seen them all over YouTube so I thought I'd try it um so first things first I can talk about the one thing I was forced to buy um this it is a Dell computer um I only used Max before this and honestly it's not that bad I thought it was gonna be way worse um but it is a touch screen and it does flip which is really cool um I don't have an iPad or anything I thought about buying one but then when I found out that we had to have a new computer for nursing school and this one's like preloaded with all of Roseman's software and stuff um I was like I'm not gonna splurge and buy another like tech I don't need that many. Um, it also came with a pen, but I can't find it right now. Oh, here it is. <laughs> it came with this little stylus. Um, so it's nice that they gave it to us because it's kind of expensive online. Um, granted, I did pay for all this with my tuition, but it's nice that this like was included because it's convenient. But the battery dies so fast. Like it takes, it takes one quadruple a battery and it does not last that long I have I, I have to put a new battery in it it like already died again in the past couple of weeks so not the most reliable but it is nice and I use um, different note-taking apps I've been trying to figure out the right ones so once I figure that out I can update you on that I think I'll do like a how I study for classes video eventually once I've gone through a few more I'm in I'm like halfway through block three I just had my first assessment for them um, on Friday and I passed which is why I'm filming this and not studying <laughs> this is my backpack <laughs> um, this is actually Josh's like company's backpack um, Josh is my husband um, but it's his company's backpack that he like got from like a golf tournament and I just snagged it because it's super great but it is a Swiss Army backpack it's got that symbol on it and it's great I maybe it's Red Cross I'm not sure I'll look it up but it's honestly a great backpack I put like all of my heavy tech my huge heavy textbook in it with my binder and all my stuff and my flashcard bag and my computer and I carry that to school and honestly it it distributes weight evenly I don't have any back problems yet and it's been a few weeks so another thing that I find super important to have is just like a bag of like all your girl necessities or you know if you're a guy I'm sure like there's like you have allergies you need your allergy bag like stuff like that um, so I keep ibuprofen in here um, I have a little hand sanitizer so this is just like a makeup bag I got from like a friend I don't know it's great you can use any makeup bag those ipsy ones I have a bunch of those I've used those before um, but yeah so this is like a hand sanitizer it smells kind of weird but it's supposed to be relaxing love Bath and Body Works um tampons um tissues I sneeze like right now it's like starting to be fall and I constantly am sneezing um lotion because it's dry in Utah and nobody talks about it enough 
um, hair ties and pads. I just feel like all this is like necessary. <laughs> it It's so nice too. It's easy to make friends when you've got a tampon. They're just like, I'm having my period. And I'm like, I got you girl. So definitely a good way uh, to make friends. Just seem reliable too. I don't know. I like to be prepared for anything. Um, yeah. <laughs> so next thing in here is flashcards. These are my saving grace. This is all I study with. Like, honestly, I have so many flashcards. They're like 79 cents for the really big ones at Target. So, um, big fan. A lot of the stuff I buy is either Amazon or Target. I'll link it all below. Um, let's see. Then I also have a whiteboard. I don't have it in here right now, but it's pretty large. And I love writing on my whiteboard. I love using it to study. I had to memorize a um, script for health assessment and I like kept writing out all my steps on there over and over. It helps so much and I know during farm and when I have to learn patho and stuff like that's gonna be my saving grace and then I got like a bunch of cute because I like cute colors. Um, so I got a bunch of these and I keep them in my Ziploc baggie um, with an eraser. And then um, let's see, I got a stapler. I love staplers and a hole punch. So the way I study is I use binders, which I bought at Walmart because they are great. They have so many cute colors. Um, so I put them in here and then I just hole punch everything, all my notes, all my like papers that they give us. I just like to keep it in a binder because that's the best way to organize all the classes. Um, I only got one notebook and I like have barely used it because I like to use printer paper. Um, but this notebook is from Target. It's cute and it's good for taking notes like during review days and things like that. But I absolutely love printer paper. I just have like a whole stack in here. And I like to like freehand write everything and kind of design it pretty <laughs> or messy. And I like that I'm not constricted by lines. So I like buy a huge stack of printer paper from Target and it's like three bucks and it has, it's gonna last me forever um, and ever. I know some people like to take notes um, on their tablets or on their iPads, and I've done that. Um, it works good for like my first round of notes, but then like once I get more specific, I like using the printer paper. Um, let's see. And then for oh, pencil case, of course, I am a big believer in highlighters and colored pencils and all that good stuff, but it's nothing special except these. These are like the best pens ever. They're the Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pens, and I just I love how they write. You know, you get a good pen, and it's four bucks at Walmart, so for four of them, so you can't beat it. Like best pen. <laughs> kind of passionate about certain office supplies. Um, all right, so then for lab, we had to have a stethoscope. So I'm actually wearing one of my scrubs today. It's they're my favorite kind of they're they're my favorite ones I like the gray we also can wear maroon um but I you can't get the joggers version and these are the joggers ones and they are quite cute a big fan um oh also I have cloves I'm gonna have to do a review on those because I really like them um so I'm just like getting used to them but once I've been wearing them for a bit longer I will definitely do a review on my cloves because I do use those for lab as well as clinicals So this is my case. Everyone has this case. It comes in like a whole bunch of colors and I got it when I took my CNA course. Um, I'm guessing it's probably like 12 bucks on Amazon now, but it was eight when I got it. Um, <laughs> but it's super cute, super durable, cause like you have to have it for lab and um, you'll need it for clinicals cause this carries like my stethoscope, my pen lights, all that good stuff. But you'll be t tossing it in your backpack and taking it to lab and then just like, it's so easy to forget things and lose them, so I don't. I just, I keep it all in one little case, and it works for me. So it's nice. It's like, got like soft felt lining on the inside, suede lining, I don't know. It's nice quality, um, especially for the price. And then this is my Litman. Mine's weird. It doesn't have like the little bell on the back. Um, I got I got this from a friend. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, one of my dad's friends. Um, he like 
found out I was going to nursing school and just gave it to him so I didn't have to buy one. Um, so bless him. Uh, but it's nice and it works. It's like kind of old, I think, but it's the Littman quality. I think it's the three. Yeah, three M. Um, and it works. I might. I think I might need to get like a different one in a couple of months when I go through um, the pediatrics and the maternal newborn because I think we need the bell. And I, I have seen some really cute ones. But right now this one works. <laughs> and then uh, bandage scissors. Haven't used them yet, but I feel like I will need them. And then pen lights. So for block two health assessment, we had to use our own pen light. I mean, they gave you pen lights, but they were crappy. So I recommend these, super cute, super cheap. Um, Amazon, everyone has these, it's not creative. But also calculator. Okay, you have to have a calculator that like doesn't save your information because HIPAA. Um, so I got this one, four bucks on Amazon. Also great. It was way more expensive at Walmart for some reason. So I'm glad I bought it on Amazon. But I saw it at Walmart afterwards. I was like, oh, I could have just gotten it here. And then I was like, I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> um, so let me see. And then um, other miscellaneous things. I got a blood pressure cuff because during health assessment, we had to take 50 sets of vitals. And 40 of them had to be manual blood pressure. So I like ran all around our apartment complex <laughs> with my blood pressure cuff and just like asked people to let me take their blood pressure. Um, Roseman does give you uh, the option to like check out their materials um, when you're in lab and you can like use that. But I just, I like having my own. I practiced a lot um, so I could take blood pressure manually. So I felt comfortable with it because I really was nervous about it. Um, and it's the, it's paramed. It's just the black one. I know some people have the pink one, but I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to keep things like more neutral for hospital work in case I have to bring my own. I just feel like it looks more professional that way. Um, let's see. Binder clips. I love binder clips for my, um, flashcards. Keep some from flying around. And then I just, I like do each module with its own binder clip and then I throw it in my Ziploc bag and carry it everywhere. It adds like five pounds to my bag, but it works. Um, and then I actually do want to show you um, my books that they that the school had us buy. So I'm going to go grab those really quick. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. <laughs> um, all right, so all of my books um, were bought through L severe or something like that. I'll put the name right here. Um, they give Roseman students a discount when you order your books. You order all of them together though. If you have any of them um, already, I don't know if it's worth it. I'd recommend doing it this way if you don't know anyone who's going to Roseman or don't know how to buy books. I know some people are selling them on Facebook groups or something, um, but I'm going to give you all the names that I had to buy for the first six blocks. That's the only ones they gave us. I'm gonna have to buy some more in a couple of months. So that's great, um, but it's okay. They were like, I think it was almost $400 for all of them. Yeah, so I'm like, anyway. <laughs> so for the first block, we had to read The Art of Nursing. It looks like this. It's a good book. I actually really liked it. I thought it was cool. I didn't read the whole book, but we didn't have to, so it's good. Um, this one, Professional Nursing Concepts and Challenges, it's just the textbook for the class. Um, so this one was more like a, I kind of read like a novel, like that. And then this one is a textbook. It's got all the pictures and stuff, it's just not hardback. Then uh, this past block, they had us do, so this is like a combo pack. Uh, so health assessment. And fundamentals. I want you to have the fundamentals of nursing by Potter and Perry and all the others. Um, and then it comes with this study guide. So I have barely used the study guide because I have the 10th edition and they did not update the study guide questions um, that they wanted us to practice for health assessment, but I think they did for fundamentals. And I didn't do it for this last test, but I think I will do it for the next one just so I get a feel make sure I know all my stuff. Um, but yeah, I like, literally read this whole book. They break it up, but you do read the whole book and it's heavy. I like bruise my fingers dropping it on me. Um, it's the heaviest one so far. Like out of all the books I've had to buy, that's the heaviest one. So you do use it for two blocks, which is nice. 
maybe three? I don't know. Um, they give you, so I made a mistake and I bought like the tiny one, the tiny drug handbook and I think it's still like the pocket guide. Um, I got the Lip and Cot 2020 drug guide. This one is the one that came in the package. I'm sure this is like the standard that they want us to follow. It's probably the same. I feel like all drug looks are the same. But just so you know, they do give you a giant one. Uh, this is the Med Surge books. I haven't even opened it. It says, do not open. Multiple issue, it's multi-volume, do not separate. So I didn't separate it yet because I know I'll lose one. But it's for, so they their Med Surge is adult health one and two. Um, so there's like Med Surge one and two in most schools. So this one's just adult health, but that's what we use. And then they have the study guide that comes with it. I do like having study guides, but I do not know how to use them. I will learn. <laughs> and then I don't know what class this is for, but I'm sure it's coming up because we've been talking a lot about, it's called prior, prioritization, delegation, and assignment, practice exercises for the NCLEX examination. Um, so I feel like they'll be using this one very soon, or maybe they just want us to use it and they should tell me that. Um, but they have been talking a lot about prioritizing diagnoses, how to prioritize patient care and stuff like that. So I'm sure that's coming up soon. And then the only book that didn't come in the package is this one. I just ordered it off of Amazon. It's used, but it's in good condition. Um, it's the Handbook of Pathophysiology. It's the fourth edition and they weren't too picky about which one you got. And then they gave us, so they gave us all of our ATI books that was included in our tuition. They gave it to us on our first day of orientation. This is the only one I've used so far. It just has, it's called, uh, it's just the ATI review for NCLEX content mastery series. And it's um, fundamentals for nursing. I have literally this whole like bottom, so these drawers are all the same size. The bottom one is full of those books because they are, there are so many of them. Um, but there's like one for almost every block. So I think that'll help me because we do have to take ATI testing um, during our clinicals. So that is all I have. I'm definitely gonna do, so that's like my clinical bag back there. I wanna do a clinical bag haul, but I wanna make sure I use everything in my clinical bag before I tell you to buy it um, or tell you that it's useful. So I'm waiting, my first clinicals should start, like the clinical block starts September 30th. So that is so soon. We still don't know if we're gonna be in person or online. Fingers crossed we are in person because I need some refresher on just all the in-person stuff. Granted, I was a CNA, so that helps a lot, but I know a lot of my classmates weren't. They don't have any prior experience, so I think it's super important, especially to get that like initial experience with patients. Great. <laughs> All right. So I think that's everything. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and let me know in the comments if you found this useful, if you have any questions about any of the products, um, if you have any suggestions for future videos, anything you want to see, just let me know. Um, have a great day. <laughs> Bye.